but overall, going to be getting into uh, Losers Quarterfinals, the other side of brackets. Uh, Fusky, or yep. excuse me, Yuri versus Yums. And what is this song? That's right. That song is a banger. That's a... Uh, I think I heard it a little bit. I'll have to hear it again. Wait, no, it just shows the name right there. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, wait, it does. Yeah, there it is. That song's good. Lost painting. What is That's that from? from? Uh, what is it? Ah, uh, wait, it's gonna it's gonna get me. I'm gonna get it. It's from Castlevania um, Symphony of the Night. You got yes. it. I googled it. That is on all correct. On PlayStation. Yep. Nice read. No, I, I like I like this Mithra skin. Yeah, the Miku skin? skin. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. I'm in love. Um. And this is obviously the first offline uh, Pythra Mithra I've seen as well. Yeah, for, for me as well. I mean, like, I've seen... I've definitely seen my fair share of online Pyra and Mithra. I'm like, as you know, I stream this game, so I, I've had plenty of those in my lobby. Every other Smash streamer that I tune into is like, they got, like, two or three of them in there as well, so it's like... I, yeah. I've seen plenty online. It, and it's not too surprising. I legitimately think they are higher top tier. Um, very good character, in my humble yeah. opinion. I, I, I don't think that's I, I a super hot team. Too. Yeah, because I'm like, I, I'll admit that I hyped it up too. I thought they were going to be like top five kind of thing when they first dropped, but I, I'm willing to settle for like high end of high tier. I think that's a little bit more feasible. Yeah, I think that's a fair take. Um, I think, okay, good side special there. Honestly, overall, this is still a very close set. Yuri, 87%. Gotta find a way to close out the stock. And uh, Yums right now. Again, same kind of deal. Really just struggling to get off of or onto ledge Ooh. right now, actually. Man, did you see the way that Saibi almost set up straight for the axe? Yeah. That would have been like the perfect trajectory. Uh oh, he's gonna be forward throw. Yup, that's gonna definitely take the stock. At 160%? Are you all, kidding? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I, I definitely think it would have set up, like, way earlier, too. That's, like, his strongest throw, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, Whoa, I like wait that. A minute. Held on to the okay. holy water that whole time and combos it into up smash. Good play there. I like that, I Yums. Like I like it. Yeah. That gets a point. Not not a score on the scoreboard, but it gets a point. Yeah. But, uh, again, just back to neutral. Yuri, just comfortable throwing out the whips, throwing out the holy crosses. But uh, neither player really hard committing into making anything happen. That side special from Yum's finally getting something, but maybe the Pyra will fare oh. a little bit better here. Oh, good job blocking on that there. Yeah, it would have been a lot of shield pressure applied, but in the long run, I mean, that would have been even more damage, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Because, yeah, bo both of those moves, I'm like, they can actually rack up percent pretty quickly if you keep getting hit by them, but... They actually don't do as much shield damage as you would think. Okay, down air, not gonna find the up smash yeah. though. And same oh, deal from Yuri, but either. yeah, Yuri just trying with that up special, not gonna find it, and gets big punish here from Yums. So many up smashes, so little time. One of them had to land at some point. Yeah. You saw like one, two, three, four up smashes, right? All there. There it is. Holy water into F tilt. The uh, you know the classic. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't underestimate how strong f can be, because, like, and that's another thing where it's like, yeah, that was definitely going to take a stock, but it could have taken the stock, like, even way lower, if I'm being honest, because, like, it actually has a way better amount of a knockback than some people make it out to be. Yeah. I don't know, I, I don't think the animation really sells it as much as, as it uh, really does. <laughs> the animation kind of makes it look weaker than it is. It yeah, I get sense. that, I get that. 82% yums gotta find something does get a good back throw but Yuri uh, a little bit more adept at uh, dodging yums is uh, oh, oh wow the yeah. uh, neutral special gonna be actually taking it there for Yuri yeah, that the yums. singular hit alone that singular hit alone if you get enough charge on it can definitely close it out I'm gonna see him set him up off stage here it's like alright he's definitely gonna go for ledge it's Belmont so I'm gonna charge yeah. him one of these he can neutral get up, I'm gonna get him with one of those. <laughs> He's out of there. Yeah, and uh, that, that. that that really did feel like conditioning. Uh, it felt like that entire set, Yums was just throwing out side special. And finally, for that last, uh, you know, just to seal the deal, use that neutral special to close out that stock and ultimately the first game. Yeah, I think that's important is just to kind of establish yourself uh, with a character that's not really seen like as frequently offline. 
Um, so I think that's going to be very good in the long run for kind of just like, just kind of putting himself out there, you know? It's kind of like, hey, you know what? I'm out here playing this character. Hasn't even been out for a full month, but watch what I can do kind of thing, you know? Yeah. And in the meantime, they're sitting here with the character that's been out since launch, and it's just like, you know, it, it, can, it can sometimes apply that pressure. It's like, hey, wait a minute, this guy knows everything I'm going to do, but I can't say the same for him. Yeah, it literally just is a case of uh, matchup unfamiliarity. Um, Yuri might not have the, the Pyramithra matchup memorized, but who can really blame them for that, you know? Exactly, yeah. You can't really fault them too much for that. Yeah. Uh, back to a bit of neutral, Yuri. Once again, comfortable just throwing out these spacing tools. <laughs> I mean, if it ain't yeah, broke, I mean, like, like really. I, exactly. I'm like, if you're Brahman, you just got to be content with that sometimes. Where it's like, you know what? I'm not getting hit in major disadvantage, but I'm not doing anything really major as well. And sometimes it's good just to see how they react. To see it's like, hey, wait a minute. They, they double jump every time I throw out side B. Maybe I can catch them with the forward air kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Helps you plan things out a little bit longer. There's a term for that. It's uh, using your brain. No, that's exactly. toxic. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. It's, it's redirecting your brain. Uh, you, you turn off your brain so that you can prioritize how you're gonna, what you're going to do when you turn it back on. Let's kind move on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Yuri at 107%. Yum's really struggling. Pulls out the, uh, the Pyra, but, you know, still just not finding these stray hits, or at least these lethal stray hits. I was expecting a neutral oh, special. Yeah. Uh, we see an F-Tilt, though. Uh, Ooh, I don't yeah, like that definitely... special. That was not great. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's better than that, I promise. It's way stronger. Yeah, I mean, just because Ooh. of the platform there, like, it's not gonna do much. Let's be real. Yeah, I, I feel like a... At least in that like very, very counter pick. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, if there's, like, an FD counter pick, it, it's not great on Battlefield, you're right, but it's actually a really strong move. Uh, I guess, like, outside of that. Wow, wait, did that side B literally just stop out, uh, Richter's Cross? Yep. It has way more priority than the, uh, than the Axe. Okay, uh -oh. I like that, going deep, going deep. That's nice. 62%, but finally these stocks are, uh, equalized. Yuri's still with a, uh, very, very solid lead right now, though. And Yum's yeah, very still not getting lead. on stage. I, I would be surprised if Yuri just started playing aggro right now, but it seems like he's kind of leaning into that a little bit more now that he's seeing uh, Mithra out, who t has a little bit less weight uh, than Pyra, so he's going to be able to take those stocks slightly earlier. Yeah. I actually didn't know that at first. I kind of just assumed that they were like... You know, in the game, they're technically the same character, right? So I just figured they'd be the same weight. No, they have two But I guess, I guess for game balance, values. they did that. Yeah, for game balance, I'm sure they did that. Yeah, finding that Holy Water into F-Smash again. Yuri, or excuse me, Yums just cannot find their way off of this ledge. Oh my god, oh. Yuri! Woo! Kind of popping off a little bit. Getting a cute little string there. Some time. Neutral special, not gonna find its mark. Yuri was prepared. Yeah. Uh, that trip is actually not as punishable as it looked like it would have been. Yeah, tricks like that, that right only... there. He wasn't able to immediately act out of that. Yeah, pretty much. Down airing the shield and Yuri trying to make it back on the center stage. <laughs> I like that. Just grab until it works. Right. Yeah. Something's just gotta go with. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I, th I thought he was gonna go for that footstool confirm. I see all over Twitter. You can basically just do side B, and obviously since you can't attack, you can still run and jump. Uh, so what a lot of people will do is they'll do uh, Pyra side B into uh, Footstool, and then they'll just follow up with like a Down Smash or F Smash or something like that. It's yeah. Crazy. Um, but I mean, I, I'd say that Yums is fine without it, but I mean, still 92% on your third stock, like. And down a stock. That's why I'm like a, a confirm like that is something that he probably needs right now. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh I mean, who needs confirms, right? Just get a stray right, hit yeah. while recovering, and you're fine. I was like, now that you mentioned that, that does kill at like 80 or 90 or something like that. Way earlier than what we saw there. Okay, I like that side special, getting the read on the uh, roll get up. Oh, but you're at 131%. Oh, Axes are going. Yeah, not the wide. greatest recovery. 
Yeah, not the greatest recovery, but just enough to help him back up in there. Man, that, that uppy actually comes out, like, super fast on uh, Richter. Oh, I think that was an attempt at the footstool. I mean, but you're... Ah, that didn't make any sense, though. You're still fo high up! Anyways, yeah, up that special. probably wouldn't have connected. Not gonna kill quite yet. 164%. Yuri just throw, yep. runs up. <laughs> just uh, closes out that game. Pretty uh, pretty standard. Sets up those projectiles, conditions them for a neutral gallop, and then punishes that block with the forward throw. That's pretty straightforward, but I I, I like that though. And at the mm. optimal percent too. I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> That is pure optimization. Yeah. Cannot fault Yuri for that one. Uh-oh. Wrong stage? Ah, wrong music. I see. No, wrong banger. Bloody wrong tears! Banger. Okay! Side note. Uh, if you guys have not listened to the uh, cover of Bloody Tears by uh, the Megas, go do yourself a, uh, a favor. It's like a heavy metal cover Same. of Bloody Tears. So good. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We plug. Now we plug. It's good. <laughs> we plug. Plug for somebody else's plug. band. Uh, I'm gonna there charge go. them for that. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> going back to small battlefield. Or I can't. I can't remember if we were on battlefield or small battlefield. They all look the same. To me. Uh, we. Were, I think we were on battlefield both first games. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. So we're actually gonna be going to a different stage here. Um. <laughs> Different stage, same problems. Yeah. Yum still just can't get back on stage here. I, I I know that like the small battlefield was like one of those like oh nobody really asked for that but that's nice kind of things but like I don't know I I almost sound petty when I say that like I kind of wish that they gave it like an original design. Yeah, I get that. I don't feel like that's asking for too much though. It would just be a reskin. Anyway, yeah, essentially. Yeah, 113% on Yum's uh, up special. Not gonna kill quite yet, but Yuri definitely not doing too bad for themselves right now. Yeah, All right, doing good at positioning them for the forward tilt. Ooh. Wow. Okay, and then down, down air forward or uh, down air up smash. It's gonna close that out pretty consistently. That's all you need sometimes. All right, the Mithra Pyro chance. Oh, but they can't chant loud oh, enough. Man. Axe gonna be catching out to Yum's there, um, and Yuri gonna be evening out the stocks there. Yeah, even they got the stats pretty evenly too, and even the percents now that we're seeing him win a little bit of neutral. Uh, he's gonna put himself not down by a lot. I mean, it's nothing that a Belmont can't make up with with some proper uh, conditioning and uh, projectile use. Yeah, actually, no. I take that all back. That was just some straight up uh, good neutral setups at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, he tried to fall with the grab. Not quite gonna land it though. It's interesting, because, like, there'll be some times where, like, it's not even percent. That will determine whether or not you can uh, catch Ooh. them with certain options. Sometimes it's just the timing of the move. Yeah. Like sometimes like the late hitbox, or sometimes it's the last hitbox you have to land. Okay. It's, it's very situational with those setups. Ah. Uh, you see Yum's trying to go for the jab lock setup there, but uh, just a little too late on the jab. I honestly would have preferred if Yum's had just hard committed to reading a roll option. Um, but just seeing a little bit too much hesitation. Seems to be something right, Yums might yeah. have to go lab out a little bit more. Wow, that... I don't know if you saw how far that forward air reached for recovery. Ooh! Wow, okay, Yuri's got some movement on him. These, wow, okay, th there's some really good neutral exchanges that we're seeing between both of them at the moment. Like, using a... Dang, I forgot the name of that special... Uh, neutral special on Mithra. But using that for edge guarding. Now catching with the forward smash? This is some good back and forth that we're seeing. And we're seeing that reflected in the score as well. It's 1-1 at the moment, and it's showing in this gameplay. Yeah, you. it really doesn't feel like that even of a game. Yuri, I'll be honest, Yuri seems to be playing better, but Yums is just getting these stray hits where it counts and being able to get these stocks. Um, but right yeah. now, Yuri's uh, obviously in the passenger seat. Gotta figure out a way to, to even the game back up. Okay, we almost saw that confirmed there. Too early percent, Ooh. wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, to go off of what you said earlier, I mean, we did see a lot more pyro in that game, and I feel like the reason why is because, like, he's just slowly starting to get a download on his movement and just punishing with those big, uh, big damaging moves. Yeah. Where it counts, you know? Okay, okay. Can never go wrong with Animal Crossing remixes. Oh, he's so good. 
Nice. I, I don't think um, Yums, I don't think I've ever seen him play before, so I'm not really sure who he was playing before Pyro and Mithra. One, go. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. I actually do like the Smashville counter pick from Yums, though. Uh, just getting rid of the platforms make it that much harder for Yuri, or excuse me, make it that much harder for Yums to make it back on the stage. You just control right. a lot more of, uh, you know, the actual stage itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually just got word from Chad. He used to play Lucas before this. Okay. That sounds right. I remember that. Um... Weird. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, Yuri. Good down air into up special. Yeah. Not going to kill quite yet, though. But 90%... Uh, Getting some good damage on the board. On like a, a setup like that, probably will take stocks around like 112 or like 120. It's actually pretty uh, underrated um, option select there. Good shielding. Uh, I would have preferred a down smash there. Yeah, a down smash would have sent them like, a, like at a lower angle. That probably would have been better in the long run, especially considering uh, Richard's recovery options. Oh, I was saying from Yums, or excuse me, from Yuri. I wanted to see a down smash uh, to punish the side special. It's uh, going to be a lot faster, but when your opponent's up in your zone like that, you know, it's a good way to get them out and uh, also just covers everything around you, too. Oh, okay. I see what you mean there. But either way, uh, Yuri down a stock right now. Not in a bad spot. 170, 160% on Yuri right now. Or Yums. Ooh, oh, my God. Yeah, go f <laughs> no, no, no. You're good. Yeah, they're, they're pretty close in, in naming. <laughs> I'll admit it. Yeah, we did see that holy water into uh, Mithra up smash. But it seems like the one with Pyra, that, that variant is going to be a lot better in the long run for dealing at da that damage that uh, was needed at that time. A little bit more lethal, yeah. Wow, did that actually beat out the axe in the priority? That is crazy. Uh, I think I think it's because like Pyra and Mithra are actually kind. They're not like the I don't know. They're not super small, but they're not like super like large hitboxes either. Yeah. Uh, they're not like tall or anything like that. that so I think so like weird. just like the low profile from landing on that was just enough. Maybe. Either way, 127 percent. Both these players got to make something happen. I was going to say, I want to see the swap to uh, Pyra here. Finding that neutral special to Flame Nova, but actually not even going to be able to finish it out. Uh, yeah. Yuri finds the axe to close out Yums' second stock, though, and uh, developing a, a not bad lead here. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm like, if he plays it outright, you know, I, I could definitely see a game five happening. Yeah. It's, it's really just a matter of uh, if Yuri can acquaint what? himself enough with the. That Yikes, was man. I that was some Smash Ultimate type beat right there. Yeah, that was definitely Smash Ultimate moment. Oh, okay. good catching that Good roll, pivot though, grab. Right? I like that. That's good nice. game sense That's by Yuri. I like to see right there. And that that ultimately is like just an example of a play from Yuri that just demonstrates that Yuri knows what they're doing. And I just right. uh I don't know. I don't know if I'm seeing that same level of game awareness from Yums, but obviously, you know, results speak for themselves. Uh, Yums in a really good spot to actually take the set right now. Yeah, that, that's that's what's um, going to be important, though, is whether or not he can recognize that. I mean, he's been pretty good at, uh, I mean, we're seeing like some like interesting like character switches. I mean, like, I feel like this one's kind of required because Mithra has the better recovery options. Ooh, oh, wow. Is. Yeah. Sweet spot back air. That'll actually close out game number four. And uh, we are going to be seeing a game five scenario here. Yeah, I mean, like, good to see that, that Yums knows when to switch to Pyre, or Mithra when it's required to recover. Um, but still seeing that Yuri's more than ready to cover those get up options, which is something really good for a Belmont player to have. When you see, like, how far those backers and forwarders can reach from. Being able to time those uh, properly, like with jumps and rolls and all that, is going to be super important. Banger alert! Watch out, everybody. Banger alert. <laughs> I remember Smash 4, and you just heard this song on every other setup. Oh, that'd be hype. <laughs> that, that was hype. That was, that was like back in the day, man. That, that was like when I first started going to Smash tournaments. That's, 
kind of like what that reminds me of. Yeah. Um, starter, starter bill, man. That, back in the day. Um, yeah, but we're seeing a lot of moves being thrown out. Honestly, the Blazing End, uh, side special from Mithra, or excuse me, Pyra, is very, very good, and it really does seem to be something that Yums is relying a lot in this neutral. Um, but I don't know, it, it seems like it doesn't work out a lot, but Yums is doing a good job of spacing it. Yeah, it, it seems like he's doing a good job of, uh, prioritizing the spacing of his attacks, especially now that we got him at the higher percents, and just kind of just knocking him back and forth off stage every time he comes back on. Um, got him, like, wrapped around pretty tight in this situation. I mean, like, he's having a hard time getting that stage control back that he needs. Yeah. 121% on Yuri right now. Again, just, uh, Yum's looking to find this stock. Gotta, gotta grab something here soon. Photon Edge getting beat out by the uh, axe there. Ooh, but, uh, yeah. Forward Smash doesn't matter if you're Mithra. At that percent, pretty much anything will kill. Oh, we're gonna see him condition. Oh, he forgot the dash forward. Do you see that? He was gonna uh, set up for that same confirm that we saw game one. I actually, I, I do think that was a read, uh, trying to read Yums's role. I, that seemed very intentionally spaced. Oh, trying to read roll though, you said. Yeah, like read roll after oh. the neutral getup. I think that was Yuri playing smart. Oh my god, but yeah. that angle, oh, wow. the holy water into the axe, that was pretty insane. I was like, it's important to remember, though, that you can't uh, necessarily... Or actually, I don't think you can roll out of uh, Holy Water without getting hit, if I'm not mistaken. Not at that angle, uh -oh. with the axe coming in like that. Holy right. Water actually going to be contesting the uh, neutral air from Pyra there. Flaming Edge not going to find its mark. Ooh, good oh. up smash on that platform there. <laughs> Both players just waiting in shield. Oh, boy. I like it. Blazing Edge again, but not gonna find its mark. Or Blazing End, excuse me. Oh, that dash attack's gonna put him off stage. It's super. It's actually a really strong dash attack, like when I actually looked at it. Um, I don't think the presentation that Sakurai did really sold like how strong that dash attack can be um, in specific situations. Yeah. Oh, barely missed spacing that up smash. Good attempt there by Yuri. Blazing and does find its mark, but 151%. This edge guard not gonna be huge from Young's. Holy Water Online, Axe misses its mark. Yeah, try catching with an up tilt after landing there. That's an interesting follow up option there. Yeah. He's gonna apply that shoot that. pressure with side B. Alright, all you need is an air sometimes. Yeah, but Blazing End is such an interesting move. Because, like, sometimes you can just take, like, the entirety of neutral and just put it at a stalemate. Because if you catch them in shield with, uh, with that move, like, you can't really follow up immediately with anything. So it kind of just, like, takes everything and just puts it to a pause if they land on shield. Yeah. Finally getting Yums off stage. Great grab there from Yuri. 141% that axe. Very, very well placed. Gotta be wrapping it up there. Final stock in this final game here uh, of losers quarterfinals. Uh -oh, uh oh. Oh, getting a little bit of connection problem. Okay, there it is. 62%. Very close. Um, getting a bit of neutral here. Yeah, just yeah, throwing out the Pyro trying to make up for that percent. Trying to get some more damage in there, which is going to be super important in this last stock situation. Yeah. There's the Nair. Down oh. air! The F smash! Oh! oh Yuri contesting with down air! Uh, I will be honest, Yuri got so hella lucky there. That should have been Yums getting the win! Really did. Yums getting a good edge guard. 76% on Yuri. Gotta find something though, Yuri. Getting Tint off stage again. The neutral special oh, finds no, its no, mark and Yums going to be picking up game 5. Yums might be bad at Osu, but not bad in the Belmont matchup. <laughs> Gonna be uh, advancing in the losers' semifinals against Noir here in just a minute. Yeah, I'm like, and if that looks familiar, that's exactly how we wrapped up one of the earlier games in the set. I mean, good, good job, you know, with staying consistent with what you know works. Um, I mean, I felt like Yuri maybe tried mixing up his timing a little bit, but 
Don't forget that you can also mix up your timing by just holding it out a little bit longer. You 